Okay, so first of all, I'm going to type the number one in here and then press control and enter in order to stay in this cell. Then I'll hold down control and click and drag to get the numbers to increase. Then I'll type the number four in here and do the same thing again. Press control and enter to stay in the same cell. Then hold down control and click and drag to get the numbers to increase. And now I have set up the first two rows. I can select all of this and then click and drag down and it will automatically copy the pattern. Then for the next method, I'll type the numbers one, two and three. And then in this cell here, do equals and then link to the cell above and then add three and enter. And then I can click and drag this across and then down. And this method works because all of the cell references are relative references. So they're always looking at the number in the cell above and adding three to it. Then if you have the newest version of Microsoft Excel, then you'll have a formula that's actually designed to do this. And that is the sequence formula. And so in my case, I want 10 rows and three columns, a start of one and a step of one. So I want the number to increase by one each time and then close brackets and enter. And I get this sequence of numbers. Now, if you don't have the sequence, formula and you still want to use a formula to do this, you have to use a combination of the row and column formulas. So the row formula will give you the row number of the cell reference that you put in. So if I give it the cell reference A1, it will tell me that that is in row number one. Then if I drag this down, the number will increase by one each time as this is a relative reference and so the cell reference moves down by one row each time. Then if I drag this across, the numbers stay the same as the cell reference is still in the same row. Then the column formula is the opposite way round. So if I give this the cell reference A1, it will tell me that that is in column number one. Then if I drag this down, the number will stay the same as the cell reference is still in the first column. Then if I select all of this and drag it across, the numbers will increase by one each time as the cell reference is moving across the columns. So it is now in the third column. Then we need to combine these together. So I will do row A1 plus column a1 and close brackets and enter and then I'll drag this across and down and you'll see that this formula is not working correctly yet. To start off with in the first cell I am doing row number one plus column number one so I end up with the number two but I actually want to start with the number one so I am going to put the row number in brackets and then subtract one and close brackets and enter. Then I can drag this across and double click to send it down. And now we have the first row correct, but all of the other rows are still incorrect as the number is increasing by one each time and I want the number to increase by three. So I'm going to edit this formula again and add in a times three here and enter. And then I'll drag this across and double click to send it down again. And now I have the correct sequence of numbers. If I show you how this is working on its own, I'll subtract one from the row number here. And of course, all of the row numbers decrease by one. Then if I put all of this in brackets and times it by three, then all of these numbers become three times bigger. So now I have three here plus the column number one, which gets me the number four. And then three here plus two gets me the number five. And then three plus three gets me the number six. Then we move on to the next row and I have six plus one, which equals seven. And then that pattern continues downwards. 
Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to get a grid of sequential numbers in Excel, and that is everything.